the Hovingham project was started about four or five years ago um, when the police came across um, the land um, and it was basically a, a wasteland. Uh, there was uh, a load of uh, used syringes on the land, it was overgrown, there were, there were trees, uh, people were causing antisocial behaviour here, they, they were committing crime, drug, they were taking drugs, etc. So came across this land uh, and, and the police initially helped support to, to clear the land uh, and basically, uh, basically clear it of all the, the waste. As a project for cricket and Ash and uh, other colleagues managed to get a place for the young lads to play cricket and then out of that they've now got this space here in order to partly have outdoor activities but also they've got the, the buildings belonging to Ovingham Primary School where they have one or two sessions a week. They it? do, yeah, which yeah. are very, very successful. So it's, uh, they're getting numbers of 40, 40 or so plus, plus boys and there's, there's, girls. There's also um, sessions for girls and also, also very important is that it's not just Pakistani kids from around here, it's also some of the the Czech Roma community as well. Yes. So it really is a bit of um, cohesion going on here. So um, it's very exciting the way it's developed from, I think initially Ash saw a few lads playing cricket around here and thought we must try and do something a bit more um, substantial for them. And out of that has grown a cricket project and now a youth club. It's not just about play, coming here and playing <laughs> snooker or playing the PlayStation. It's about educating the boys about outside, keeping them off the drugs educated them for their own personal safety as well donated yeah. uh, free generously yes. we've you know, just got to find the money to get them here but it's again it's another way in which the public prob the project can develop and it's very exciting and it's benefit for the local community that mm. could be uh, it could be ongoing for local children to use and it it keeps them off the streets basically so no antisocial behavior and uh, there is somewhere where they've got good peers uh, and good support um, to, to keep them safe basically. The fire service was involved, the community was involved, the schools were involved and we basically cleared all the site and the land um, of all, all, the, all, all the waste that was on here. Um, then we got some local contractors in um, who helped us clear the land of all the, all the tree stumps and, and, and everything like that. Um, and then basically it's taken us three or four years for ownership of the land uh, to be transferred to the, to the charity catch which was actually catch was set up because of this this project um, you know all those years ago uh, and it's taken us quite some time to to get to this point now in the background we've had um, Leeds University students um, helping to do a landscape project on the land we've had other projects going on in the background um, you know, we've basically done a lot of fun like fundraising the councillors have helped us with we're supporting this this project with some funding uh, and, and all that sort of stuff